Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following math puzzle box. Please don't forget to click on the like or subscribe button below for solutions to more math puzzle. The puzzle contains the numbers 1 to 9 as listed. Each column and each row add up to the number given outside the boxes. We have to put the correct number in each box to complete the addition equations without repeating any number. The points to note are no numbers are to be repeated and also we have the numbers 1, 3, 5 and 4 already used. So what the puzzle is saying is if I add all the numbers on the first row as shown, the numbers must give me 15. So therefore, the first step is to strike out all the numbers that have been used since I can repeat any number. So I have 1 out, I have 3 out, 4 and 5. I'm left with 2, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Starting with the last row, I have 3, 1 and an empty box adding up to 10. I'm going to write that as an equation. If my missing number is x, what I have is 3 plus 1 plus x equals to 10. I have 4 plus x equals to 10, that's 3 plus 1. And using the balance method, I'm going to take out 4 from both sides. So what I'm left with is 4 minus 4 is 0. Then I'm left with x equals to 10 minus 4, 6. So therefore, I'm going to replace my x with 6. I'm done with the last row. The next column, the middle one, if I add my x plus 5 plus 1, that must give me 8. So I replace my missing number with x. My equation becomes x plus 5 plus 1 equals 8. I have x plus 6 equals to 8. And to find x, I'm going to take out 6 from both sides. That's the balance method. Whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. 6 minus 6 is 0, so I'm left with x equals 8 minus 6, which is 2. So therefore, the value of x is 2. Now that I've used 2 and 6, I'm going to strike that out from my list. I have 2, 6 gone. I'm left with 7, 8, and 9. The next step is to pick another row or column. In this case, I'm going to pick my first row that has 4, 2, and a missing number. That row must add up to 15. I'm going to replace my missing number with x. So therefore, I have 4 plus 2 plus x is equal to 15. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus x equals to 15. I'm using the balance method. I'm taking out 6 from both sides. 6 minus 6 is 0. I'm left with x equals 15 minus 6, that's 9. So I replace my x with 9. Then I can pick another row or column. I'll pick the last column, 9 plus x plus 6. I have that as 9 plus x plus 6 is equal to 23, I have x plus 15, that's 9 plus 6, equals 23. I'm taking out 15 from both sides using the balance method. I'm left with my left hand side x equals on my right hand side 23 minus 15 will give me 8. So therefore, I'm going to replace my x with 8. And then I take out 8 from my list. I also take out 9 from my lift. I'm left with 7, which is obvious. So my last column will be 7. And a quick check will be 4. I'm going to add all the numbers on that column. It must give me 14. So I have 4 plus 7 plus 3. 7 plus 4, 11 plus 3, which is 14. So my last number is definitely 7. Thanks for watching. Bye.